Amy from ResinerRockstar.com and I'm here with Landfill from Municipal Waste. And we're doing an interview outside of the Aggie Theater. I want you to know these guys a little bit, find out where they're from, what they're doing. Hell yeah! Sounds good to me. <laughs> so, what part of the country are you from? Well, I'm from Planet Earth. Planet Earth? And uh, I'm from Richmond, Virginia. Great place. And uh, it's, yeah, it's the same town as Guar. And uh, we've known those guys for a while, and we're lucky enough to be on the road with them right now. But spent the last month or so with Guar, and I can't complain. The shows have been fantastic. We've been killing it, so I'm happy. I just right ate on. a cookie. <laughs> they brought me some cookies Shit. today. So, um, how do you know Guar? How did, how did you meet them? Well, like I said, uh, we're from the same town, so we've always been around each other. Like. Ever since I was about 15, my old band, before I was even in Municipal Ways, used to practice in the slave pit where they were making right. their costumes and stuff. Because they used to have this big space on Chamberlain Avenue, which goes right through the city, um, the old slave pit. And they used to have huge parties there and stuff, and, and it was really awesome. And occasionally you'd go in there and there would be body parts hanging from the ceiling or something cool. It's always a good time. You could make a lot of lamps. Yeah, yeah. You know, they'd be working on a giant dinosaur. Or, <laughs> a music video or something. So uh, for me, being a metalhead, that was somewhere around 17. It was fucking awesome. So you guys just grown up together, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know. So, is this the first time you've been on tour with them? No, this is the second time. The first time was in 2006. We did nine weeks before, oh, wow. which is a long tour. And I don't think we'll ever do a tour that long again. <laughs> that is a long tour. But uh, yeah, it's just a testament how hard war works. I mean, they'll go on the road for months. Yeah, they're always on the road. And they're, sh and they're showing up at venues early, covering the whole venue in plastic, setting up all their blood and all their gear. And it's just, you know, it's hard work. Right. So let's talk a little bit about you. What is your most recent album that you have out? Well, Municipal Waste is putting out an album called The Fatal Feast. It's coming out on Nuclear Blast Records. It should be out by now. And, uh, yeah. That's the newest one? Mm -hmm. All right. What's your all-time favorite, favorite song to perform live? Well, we have a few songs that I like to play, you know. Well, I, I feel like our set is pretty much all killer, no filler by now, because right. we put out so much music. So now we can just stick to the hits, you know, mm -hmm. which is really fun, you know. And uh, each one has different reaction from the audience, and each one has, each one stands out for its own unique qualities. You know, I feel like every song has its own yeah, you guys are really awesome. I, I, I'm digging it a lot. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it besides it's awesome, old school, thrash metal, and it kicks ass. Like, yes, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> so, um, I guess I want to know a little bit more about you. What do you play in band? I'm the bass player of Municipal Waste. Mm -hmm. And awesome. yeah, I also play in another band called Cannabis Corpse, oh, which is I like a them. weed inspired death metal band. And, uh, I love the weed. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, all of us in Municipal Waste have different side projects going on as well as Municipal Waste. We're just staying busy all the time, playing music, staying on the road, just uh, trying to make make it happen. So what inspired this particular little mini tour with Guar here where you guys, I mean, you were going, they were going on a European tour and then that got canceled. And now this is their third show in Colorado. So, I mean, what's behind this tour? Is this just, I mean, is this a remembrance tour? Are you guys promoting something? The whole tour is going out to Corey Smoot. You know, he's, all of us knew him as, you know, he produced Hazardous Mutation, which was the first record that I was on with Municipal Ways. And, you know, it was a killer record that really uh, a lot of people still like. And he's, he was just a really nice guy. And you could, nobody had anything bad to say about him. He was a really nice guy. And it's, it's, it's just a shame that he's gone, you know? So we're on this tour, you know, they, they're paying tribute to him. And Get some closure. Yeah. So he, he produced which album was it? Hazardous Mutation. Hazardous Mutation. That's awesome. So uh, do any of you guys have any side projects with the members of Guar? Or? Uh, well. Uh, what all's going on with you guys? What other side projects can we Oh uh, well, our guitar player Ryan, he's in a uh, like a heavy metal like triumph, heavy metal, heavy metal uh, band. Heavy metal. Yeah, 
that would probably be a genre right now. <laughs> right. But a uh, heavy metal band called Vulture. And then Tony and I are doing another band called Iron Raven, which is like uh, speed metal. And uh, Dave Whitty has a band called Argonauts, which is, uh, if you're familiar with his old band, uh, Burnt by the Sun, it's, it's really heavy, it's just like intensely heavy and like, I don't know how to describe it. It's for fans of like, just the heavy. <laughs> right? <laughs> and hey, well, that's it. And that's all. Cool. So where are you playing next? Uh, well, this is our last show of the tour. After this, we go home, and then, okay. and then we have a few days off, and then Cannabis Corpse goes on tour with Revocation uh, for two weeks, and then I have a couple weeks, and then Municipal Waste goes out on a headlining run for about a month, which I think is probably going to come around these parts. So we'll be back soon. Awesome. We'll be looking for you.